My wife said, well, why don't you send a letter up to Ron Miller, who was the head at that time, and uh, tell him that you'd like to make this uh, picture that, that you, you always wanted to do with Mickey and, and uh, the Christmas Carol, because all the characters seemed to fit in. That, that would be a, kind of a nice thing to do. And so I wrote a two-paragraph letter, uh, note, sent it up to Ron Miller. Next day, his secretary called me up and said, uh, come up to the office, uh, Ron wants to talk to you. So I came up there, and he was uh, writing something when I walked in, and he, and he, and he looked, he was frowning and he was writing something. And I sat down in one of the chairs, and I was waiting, and he finished and he looked up at me and he says, what are you sending me this uh, note for? What, what is this thing all about? You know, and I thought, well, I'm gonna defend myself, so I said, well, I think it was a good idea, you know? And, I, he, and all of a sudden he broke into a big laugh and he, and, he, and, he, and he said, of course it's a great idea. He says, I want you to board it and get it going. <laughs> and that was my start of Mickey's Christmas Carol. And I got a great crew to do it. I had just come off of, you know, kind of being an assistant animator, uh, working on Fox and the Hound. That ended and, and I was doing a Mickey test. Bernie saw my pencil tests, and then Bernie, knowing he had, you know, Mickey's Christmas Carol coming up, um, asked me to animate Mickey. I got my promotion to animator, and my first animation assignment at Walt Disney Studios was to animate Mickey Mouse. So I'll talk about big shoes to fill, that, um, that certainly was the case for me. And so for, you know, the better part of a year or so, you know, we lived Christmas <laughs> through Mickey's Christmas Carol.